Michael McGrath last night. You were awarded the Players' Player of the Year award. I mean, just give us your thoughts and how you're feeling on that. Yeah, no, um, it's pretty grateful, man. Um, I think if a few boys didn't get hit with big injuries, um, yeah, they could definitely have that award. Um, but no, yeah, like I said, I'm grateful. You know, um, you, know, you play for the boys and try to earn their respect, so I was really happy with it. There must be a sense of pride for you that the lads you come into training with every day and take to the field every week see that in you and want to give you that sense of award. Yeah, like I said, like, um, you know, you play rugby for a few reasons, but the big one for me is to play for the boys and, and their respect. So, you know, for them to uh, vote me, I was, I was really proud. I mean, 2018 for you, it's been, you've been on the field quite regularly after an injury hit 2017. you passed a couple of milestones in terms of appearances with the club. I mean, it's been a good year for you in, on the whole, hasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, I think I think it's gone well, you know, um, obviously results haven't gone our way, but just to be out on the field with the boys every week is always a blessing. And just looking quickly on the field, you said on the stage last night that nothing is confirmed. I mean, are the boys looking to rip in this week out of Saturday's game against Halifax? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, three wins can get you to the million pound game. So we're just going to take week by week and uh, control what we can control. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, you know, things go our way. You've done the review over this week of the Leeds game. Obviously, you're going to take some of the good, good bits out of that game that, that we can move forward into this week. Yeah, I think the commitment and desire was there uh, for that Leeds game. So if we take that over to this Halifax game, hopefully we can come out with a result.